We've got happy feet. Hello. Hey, this is a, just a quick video. This time we're going to talk about two different types of shoes that are travel related. Now, when we're out traveling and if we hit big cities, we're usually putting in an average of 10 miles walking per day. We do a lot of walking when we're traveling. And when we're in nature, then we're hiking and we're also putting in a lot of miles and different type of walking in those situations. And if you're walking for miles and miles, be it in the city, be it in the mountains, it sure helps to be in shape before you get to your destination and to have the right kind of shoes when you're walking about. Now, I've got a 5K loop around my house that I try to hit at least three times a week, walking it, running it, combination of both. On that trail, I've been wearing Hoka shoes for my runs. So I started out with a pair of the Hoka Bondi 6 shoes, which are these guys right here. Uh, and these have been a great shoe. They're plush, they've held up extremely well. I've got hundreds of miles logged on these shoes and I'd get them again in a heartbeat. They make running an absolute joy. I think the current version of the Bondies is the Bondi 7. I think it's a great running shoe. I also use these that I've kind of worn out from running now for walking. So with 800 miles, 1,000 miles, whatever it's been on those shoes, it was time for an upgrade. So I went to a place called Roadrunner Shoes and uh, checked out the recent Hoka's and ended up getting the new Carbon X, the Bondi Carbon X. And that's uh, this shoe right here. These are also a very responsive shoe. I'd say they don't have the same plush feel as the Bondi 6's that I've had. But one of the things that's different about the carbon model is there is a, a plate that runs across the bottom of the shoe here. It's a carbon fiber plate that provides a different type of support when running a little more spring in the step. This one has um, a notched tongue. And uh, one of the things I do like on my shoes because I've made uh, over the years lots of holes in the back here is when there's these hoops on the back. So just the personal thing that I do like to have in my shoes. I've been running in these for probably two months, three months. It's, a, it's another good shoe. I am glad I've been able to try these, that I've been using these. When it's time to get another shoe, I probably will look at the regular Bondi series. Uh, but either way, Hoka just makes fantastic running shoes and walking shoes. One of the things that was interesting is when I got these recent shoes is I made a trip to a place called Road Runner Sports. Had never been there before and uh, have never had a shoe shopping experience like they provided in the past. They did 3D scans of my feet. They took images of my feet. They were able to design custom gel inserts because like most people, my left foot is different from my right foot. They took a video of me on a treadmill so they could check my gait. They did a lot of analytics assessment to determine the best shoes for me. And again, it's probably the best shoe shopping experience I've ever had. Really happy with that. If you've got a Roadrunner Sports near you, they have stores across the country. I know they're not in every single state. Um, or a similar shop that offers detailed analysis using modern technology to get you the best shoes for your feet, I'd recommend exploring that option. Next, we're going to turn to hiking shoes. So I've been wearing Vasque Breeze 2.0 GTX hiking boots for a number of years. This boot right here, I've got, I can't tell you how many miles, I mean, probably well over a thousand just recently the um, the bottom of it started to break so clearly time for a new hiking boot but i had been happy with these i thought i might get some new vasks but looking at the current ratings there seem to be some other options out there that might be better so i thought hey if it's time for a new shoe i might go all the way and try a new brand as well so I went to REI, I spent some time on their website, did a lot of looking at their reviews, tried several shoes at the store, some were too wide, some just didn't feel right. I would like a very snug fit on my hiking boot. I want support, I want my ankle to be very protected. And after trying a lot of different shoes, I landed on the Keen Ridge Flex hiking boot. So that's this guy right here. It's got a nice high top. This one, my foot felt the most supported in, felt the most snug in. 
I also, uh, like I mentioned on the running shoe, it uh, does have the loops on the back, so this just makes it easier for me when I've got my hiking gear on, just that extra ability to hold onto the shoe when I'm putting it on. Really happy with these. I also like having a dark hiking boot because oftentimes when we're out doing our travels, be it to national parks and other states, if I want a shoe that I could then later wear out when we're going to a restaurant, just put on some dark pants, I'll often travel with only one shoe. So one all-purpose shoe, hiking in the day, getting out in the evening, nice dark color kind of goes with a lot of things. So um, that's my multi-purpose hack for hiking boots. I'm gonna have links to both the Hoka running shoes as well as the Keen hiking boots in the video description. So if you're interested in either, check those out. Before we close this, I do want to give a shout out. So most evenings we're putting on the YouTube, we're watching fellow travelers, we're watching RVers, we're watching hikers. Um, one of the folks that's been inspiring to watch from a hiking perspective is Whiskers and his channel is Hiking with Whiskers. We've been watching him for a few months and he has coming up in the next month and a half, he's gonna be hitting the Appalachian Trail. So we're uh, really interested to stay tuned to him for his adventures on that trail. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody do more prep work getting ready for an adventure like this. So he's been sharing lots of tips on hiking gear, hiking shoes, hiking clothes, getting ready for that trip. Um, and he's got nice short videos. Um, so if you're interested in checking out somebody with hiking news, hiking information, and who's going on the adventure of a lifetime on the Appalachian Trail, check out Hiking with Whiskers. As always, we appreciate it if you give us a like, give us a subscribe, both are free, uh, and it's much appreciated. And with that, we'll be back next time with more travel adventures from us at the places where we go. Happy travels.